So if you've been under a rock, you have missed out on the whole AEW possibly doing a brand split uh, between four different products. And I'm going to talk about it here in this video. My name is Rafe. Make sure to rate, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you do get notified when I do go live and when I throw up videos and things like that. Now, if you're on my other video platforms, make sure to be liking, commenting, all that stuff. Now, let's uh, let's get into this. So, AEW is going to come out with a conclusion. It's a new show that's going to be on Saturdays, two hours, what it looks like. And also, the brand split may be because of CM Punk. That's the other rumor going around or the other, you know, what people are making speculation on. Now, this could take rumors with a grain of salt. Um, you know, we may be having this conversation again where CM Punk comes back and he's on dynamite and the elite and him are making money at feuding against each other. So we will see. And now we got the bullet club gold. We're going to see where CM Punk shows up and what he does, you know, going forward. We're going to see. And also CM Punk stuff has been leaked on the internet when he's coming back and why and what feud he's going to do right off the rip. So again, Conclusion is going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting on what Tony Khan does with the product, what storylines he's going to do, what titles are going to be over there, what titles are going to be switching between brands. We're going to see. And us also brings up the question Ring of Honor. You know, if they're having a draft, what happens with Ring of Honor? Are they going to include this all in it to where they have drafts and we have official rosters that stay on one thing. And then the other question I have is pay-per-views. Are these shows going to have separate pay-per-views going forward? Is uh, is uh, Dynamite going to have their pay-per-views? And then Conclusion's going to have their own pay-per-views? Are they going to both be in the same vein? You know, that's just my million-dollar question with that one. Tony Khan's got a lot of questions to answer and not so much time because they got a big show. And I get why they're doing this. I totally get why they're signing more. They're signing more people to the roster. You know, imagine they sign Monet or they sign, you know, uh, John Morrison or they sign um, some of the talent like Jordan Grace. They're going to need they're going to need another show to do this. They're, they're signing too much talent. Too much talent is sitting on the bench. And unfortunately, you have people like Miro, Sheeta, um, you know, Scorpio Sky. And especially they want to bring in Goldberg. You know, again, you're going to have to have another show. And again, they're trying to be the second alternative to WWE or an alternative to WWE. They were eventually going to have to make another big show. Rampage wasn't it, Chief. And Rampage shows it. They're more, Rampage is more of their idea of like, oh, we're here, but it's kind of like a, it falls flat. It's like a Sunday night heat. Technically, if you want to go there, a velocity um, again, they're trying really hard to make Rampage its B show, but it's not. It's more of like, I would put it on Thursdays and have it compete with Impact Wrestling. Honestly, I would move up uh, Ring of Honor to Tuesdays or that conclusion show and put it on Tuesdays and just roll it that way. Because honestly, just to be honest, it's not going to work on Saturdays. I My belief is it's not going to work on Saturdays. But it could, and people could tune in, and the hardcore audience, as Dave Meltzer said about this, could could tune in, and they could have a banger of a show, and it, and it could do very well. Or it could flop, you know, either way. And how are titles? Are the titles going to look the same, or are titles going to look different on both products? Because they're going to have to make titles different. If it's going to be a separate show than the other show, and it's going to be a nether roster, and they're going to have to have titles. You know, and what happens with Jay Cargill? Is Jay Cargill going to stay on um, Dynamite or is she going to be on Conclusion? Is Conclusion going to be on TNT or is it going to be on TBS, True TV? Where are they going to put it on? That's going to be the million dollar question going forward. Um, supposedly, this is because of CM Punk coming back. Um, the elite don't want to work with him. Um, it, there's many different speculations that are happening with this, but has been confirmed is conclusion conclusion has been all in confirmed and um they're basically saying tony khan's going to make another major announcement of this and what it's going to be like and my question is certain tiles going to flip between the products because they're going to have to do that um again are we going to have undisputed champions like they do in wwe for tag teams and you know heavyweight belts eventually is that you know 
And is, you know, again, from Tony Khan, I want to know, like, personally, I want to know, is this because you're signing so much talent and you don't know what to do with them and Ring of Honor is becoming bloated? And, you know, it's just my honest thoughts. But, again, we'll find out as 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 we see. Um, again, my name is Ray Frelm. Um, I'll have links down to the news that, you know, of a brand split coming to AEW. But at the end of the day, guys, like I said, I, I perfectly don't know what's going on with AEW when it comes to this, honestly. You know, I'm living it through YouTube and through videos. And my honest opinion to this, it's just too much wrestling per the week. And a lot of people have families, lives, and then there's pay-per-views that happen on top of this. And, you know, are you going to have to throw up two TVs just to watch this stuff or have a monitor open for AEW and then... On the TV, you have your pay-per-view. It's it's just, it, they're asking too much. I think AEW is asking for too much for the wrestling fan. That's my per. And then you have all access on Wednesday with Dynamite. It's just, then you got Ring of Honor, and then you got this, 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 this. You know, I'm not complaining. I, I think it's great, but at the end of the day, I just think, personally, I think it's too much uh, that they've chewed off, but they have to do this because if you're starting to sign more talent, like you just signed Taya Valkyrie, you're possibly gonna go sign her husband, bring him in Johnny Johnny uh, Johnny Impact or Johnny Elite, what they had him as, and then you got the Bullet Club Gold. You got so much going on. Like you know, again, I could see Miro in Bullet Club Gold. I could see Scorpio Sky in Bullet Club Gold. I could see a lot of things with the conclusion, but at the end of the day, will it be the same amount of traction as a dynamite? We will have to see. They're going to treat it like a dynamite. They're going to treat it like what they need to treat it as. And I hope that they put some effort into it and make it a good solid second show. Dynamite honestly should say on Wednesdays. I think personally rampage should go to Tuesdays or go to, um, go to Tuesdays or go to, uh, personally uh saturdays and then put conclusion on fridays i think that would be perfect you have two two hour shows and then you have a one hour show possibly you know maybe be like a uh uh sunday night heat that wwe was doing anyway this has been my thoughts my opinion i will see you guys on the next video thank you guys for stopping in i'll have links to the news for you guys let me know what you think let me know what you think about AEW doing what they're doing to me, I just think it's too much wrestling in the week. <laughs> it's overwhelming as it is. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.